Hey everyone, welcome back to Tutor Terrific. Thanks for joining us. Today I'm going to show you a computer techie video related to Google Drive. And this specifically has to do with a workaround that allows you to get around Google's changes to the way files and folders are shared. Now Google Drive is great. We all love Google Drive that use it. We have lots of programs and files and folders that we share between our computers and online if we have backup and sync. And the Google file, Drive file stream allows lots of people to share their files and things in our network. And it's all been great until recently when I believe that the real root problem here was uh, Google is losing space on its servers. A lot of people were sharing whole files with other people and copies were being made and such things like that. And it caused what Google saw as a maybe an exponential increase in data usage on their servers. So the explanation they give is a little different. They decided to do a, a change so that people could keep better track of files and there weren't multiple copies of files and folders at different locations. Okay, well, what the result is, is that when you try and maybe uh, share a folder or file with someone else, they can only add a shortcut to their drive instead of the original file, making a copy of it for your usage. Now that really, really, really sucks for those who share folders or who share um, non-Google products. This does not affect Google Sheets, Google Slides, uh, other Google products like that, Word Doc, uh, Google Docs, excuse me. All those don't, uh, you don't notice any changes, but what if you wanted to share a Word document or a PowerPoint? Now let me explain. So I'm going to go to my Google Drive. Here I am at my drive. I don't have a lot in here. But if I go to my Shared With Me folder, I've got something here, this PowerPoint.ppt. You can tell it's a PowerPoint file that I'd like to share with my drive. Now normally, I'd right click and add to my drive would be one of the links. But now you see Add Shortcut to Drive. There's a little question mark here. Shortcuts lead to the original, allowing an item to appear more than one location. Well, sort of. It appears in more than one location if you're online and you want to access it online. So there's no change there. However, if you want to edit it offline and have those changes show up online later if you're using Backup and Sync, that doesn't really work anymore. If you have Google Backup and Sync on your computer and you try and access this through that app, uh, you'll just get a link to it and that link will take you online. Well, let's say you don't have access to the internet right now. Uh-oh, let's say you're trying to share a folder with someone, okay? MVCS, MVSE photo opportunity, same thing here, add shortcut to drive. So someone shared this with me, and uh, if I add that to my drive and I go try and access it, I have to be online. So let's uh, go through the new experience of adding a shortcut and what it's like. So you right-click on uh, this folder, for instance, and where it used to say add to my drive, it says add shortcut to drive and you click my drive and it says down here add shortcut which you know that's new since April now when we go to my drive and we look at where it is um, we see this little new little icon here it's a shortcut to the other person's folder and so you got you have like an access to what they see because they shared it with you and um, that's not what works really well when we are offline and we want to look at it offline. It, you can't. You have to be online to access the folder for crying out loud. Even if there are Google products or non-Google products in that folder. So this gets really tricky, especially with networks and businesses trying to share folders and having multiple people access those folders and work with files in those folders offline. So adding shortcuts really doesn't help. It really makes things more difficult, even if you're completely online the whole entire time. All right, so let's see what that process is like for users working offline who have Google Drive Backup and Sync, formerly known as Google Drive for Desktop. So let's say you want to put something on your computer using Backup and Sync. And uh, you go down here, oh, let's try a folder. So this folder's been shared with me. Let's try and right click, you add shortcut to drive, but uh, you have this shortcut option, so you click it, so you don't know what else to do. It's in the same spot, you click add shortcut. So it adds shortcut, it's telling you, shortcut added to drive. Well, the problem is this isn't the real folder. It kind of looks like a folder. It's got this little stupid arrow in the corner. But let's go to my actual uh, backup and sync and see what it looks like in there. So when I click on it, I notice there's this weird Google Drive file thing. 
with um, the Google logo and it's the same name as the folder. So when I open my file explorer and I see it, I don't see a folder there, I see this stupid thing. And it's the bane of my existence because I'm not able to access the folder offline. If I click on it, here's what happens. It sits there for a second, it's thinking, and then it actually opens up a web browser so I can view the files online, the same copy that the person shared with me sees. And then my computer even takes a long time. There we go, it finally worked, and there's all my files, online only. So that's definitely no bueno for people working in folders offline. So what we have to do is to figure out a workaround. Luckily, Google has shared a workaround with people who um, are really searching for it. So instead of adding a shortcut to Drive, what you can do, let's click on the PowerPoint again, is click Shift plus Z. Once you click Shift plus Z, this like super secret menu pops up with all the old things you used to see. Now, my drive, if you wanted to add something to your drive, you wouldn't change what you're clicking. You would just click Add right here. Once you do that, you go back to your drive. Boom, the full file is there. And if you had backup and sync, it would start populating this down here. You'd see the little, the little uh, circular arrow so downloading it, and it would work awesome. So that is one way to do it. In addition, if we go back to my Shared With Me folder, you click on the file once, not double. You click Shift plus Z again. Let's look at some of our other options. You can download it to a computer. You can uh, download it to a particular file. I don't have any folders, but as you know, you used to be able to add a folder here and put it in that folder. That is all accessible from this secret menu through Shift plus Z. And what they are telling us is that this will remain in effect um, for the foreseeable future while they're working out a solution for what people have made clear is a problem. Sharing folders between different computers, especially when there are non-Google products involved. Excel files, for example, PowerPoints, Word docs, other non-Microsoft products that you can edit. So this is the workaround right now. It's real simple, and um, I hope that helps you guys. Um, everything is the same once you learn that and everything as, as it was before. Sharing files and folders, Google, non-Google products between people can be done this way. I'll prove it. Shift plus C, I'll click on this folder here that one of my friends Benjamin Robert shared with me. Check it out. Shift plus C. I can add it right to my drive right now. Click add. Go back to my drive, boom, there it is. Okay, with all the photos and JPEGs that he had in that folder. So guys, that is the workaround. I hope this helps you. All is not lost. It can still work as you normally would. You just have to click Shift plus Z instead of right click. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Falconator signing out.